Hi, everybody. As you may have seen in previous emails, the ELLA and Adult Basic Literacy programs have combined into Adult Language and Literacy Programs, or ALP, led by Edie Lance Leppert. So in this video, uh, you're going to have a chance to get to know Edie and learn about some of the cha what's changing and what's not changing in the transition to ALP. So Edie, who are yes. you? That's a good question. I'm Edie Lance Leppert, and I am now the program director for ALP, Adult Language and Literacy Programs. Um, I've been the program director for the Adult Basic Literacy um, for the last 15 years. So, um, my entire career has been in adult ed, which is now about, I'm going to age myself, now about 30 years. And I've been in Tucson 30 years now, originally from Pennsylvania. Yeah, undergrad in Virginia and then graduate school out here. How long have you been working at Literacy Connects? I've been with the organization and the preceding organization, which was Literacy Volunteers of Tucson, for a total of 15 years. So I joined in 2009. I go way back. Why have we combined Ella and ABL into the glorious ALP? It will allow us to do quite a number of things. Um, most importantly, it will allow us to increase opportunities for students um, and increase volunteer support as we have a bigger staff who is all focused on this now. Um, so the staff integration between the two programs is really essential as we look at what some of those areas are where we've had adult learners over the year that sort of fall between the Ella category and the ABL category, there's all sorts of things in between there that um, we've seen need for, but we haven't really had the capacity uh, or the resources to do. More opportunities for everybody um, to fill those gaps and really make sure that we're meeting students where they are and with what they need when they need it. There's a whole range of things um, that, that we will be able to do, I think, um, as we join forces and all of the expertise and all of the amazing experience that both of these staff groups bring is a little overwhelming and really exciting. So what is changing? Well, really not that much. <laughs> There's going to be, you know, increased opportunities, like I said, in, for students um, in like opportunities for different types of classes, opportunities for volunteers to volunteer in different sorts of ways. But there's not a huge change. The staff are all staying. They're all in their same roles. They're same all, desks. It's there's not like in the day to day much difference. If anything, I think there's going to be some expansion. Um, yeah. And everybody, Jennifer is still very much with us, still in the same office. Her and Mariana are now officially the Workforce Development Program. Mm -hmm. So they're working on lots of exciting new stuff, but we all still collaborate. All the yeah. Time. Jen and I have actually worked together for, I actually don't know how long. So what message do you have for Ella volunteers? Oh, thank you, first of all, for all the amazing work that you do and the, the learning that you engage in and the ways that you build relationships with students and community partners. And the I'm always floored by the amount of time and dedication and, and commitment that our volunteers have. It really is, it's phenomenal. Just the love and care and, and respect that um, volunteers show to our students, which is our first priority. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I look forward to meeting as many people as possible at the kickoff that'll be coming up. Um, and then my email, my phone, like feel free to send me a message, give me a call. Um, if it goes to voicemail, I'll call you back. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. So I'm curious, Kate, what are your hopes for ALP? What's your vision? Yeah, I'm super excited about how it expands capacity and how, like you said, we can serve students so much better. We have students in Ella class who could really benefit from GED services, and we just haven't been able to kind of connect. And vice connect, versa. And vice versa. So I'm so excited yeah. about connecting those dots. Yeah. Um, the ABL team is a blast to work with. Everybody, when we all get together for team meetings, there's like 20 of us now. <laughs> It's super well, those, fun. Only 14, but they do. We it do feel like programs 20. like we heard you all the way down the hall. Yeah. Super excited about training opportunities, how we can cross train, um, giving folks working in ABL services 
Ella support, giving Ella folks literacy support. It's just a win, 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 win. So as always, everybody have a great month. Don't hesitate to stop by and say hi, send us an email, give us a phone call, and please do introduce yourself to Edie. Uh, she genuinely is looking forward to meeting everybody. So yeah, hooray for Alp. Hope to hear from you all soon. See you at the kickoff. And yes, hooray for Alp. <laughs>